things that she can do uh, to test the water a little bit because maybe she doesn't know she really would like it. Mm. You know, so well, it's it's a whole scale, so you can start very carefully, um, starting out with. Um, Communicating about it a little bit first is probably a good idea to see uh, if your man wants to fill you a bath and serve you champagne while you're taking a bath oh, and <laughs> bring you breakfast to bed and massage your feet and see how it feels to the other. Um, for women, it's it's very and um, uh, feeling empowered often has to do also feeling good within your body. Mm -hmm. So a bath, uh, nice shampoo, feeling very attractive for yourself, smelling good, gives confidence. So that's mm -hmm. a very good start to, um, to take. And then exploring it further, it could go anywhere. It depends now on your partner and how you feel about it. Mm -hmm. uh, would you really want to do a little bit of a role play where your partner is the knight in shining armor um, to strip naked for you and, and serve your breakfast that way? Um, or do, uh, do you want to find out, um, th um, even have him on his knees or tie him up a little bit? That's getting more advanced here and that's not for everybody. But I think when if you're in a trusting relationship, nobody really would have a problem with that. Mm -hmm. The thing is that women want to be more dominant and ha think, oh, wow, that's such an exciting idea to have my man strip naked and serve me breakfast and that sounds really good but when it comes to it they get insecure and now are you sure you can do this honey that takes <laughs> that really breaks the road so you have to develop enough confidence to do that and your partner if he is really interested in exploring submission he can help a woman you mm -hmm. know he can help you by uh, encouraging you and 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 saying oh yes ma'am I love that ma'am or, or mm -hmm. whatever verbal clues physical clues he can provide to enforce that so it, it takes two to tango I guess I always I feel like I should be taking notes right now because those are some I love the naked breakfast mm -hmm. and then the time maybe tying him up to the sink where he can do the dishes <laughs> oh. afterwards that might be good <laughs> and and for as far as romance what you know what can a guy do to uh, bring out romance in his woman well something that I think is a good way to lead them down the right path. Um, some of my clients, I will suggest, if it's the woman, um, she turns one day into the day where he's the king. She starts by leaving little clues throughout the day, going, go here, go there, go here, and he's picking up maybe an erotic movie. He's going to pick up some dessert. He comes home, and then she has, you know, an erotic, you know, beautiful setting for him, all the candles lit, and she massages him and does everything that she would like to have done to her and kind of shows him through role play of like, this really, you know, this turns you on and turns me on too. So now that you've been the king for a day, would it be possible for me to be queen for a day? Mm -hmm. And, you know, could we do that sometime in the next month or two. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like my turn. Yeah. yeah <laughs> but you've it. led him down the path. You've let him really understand all the little details because it's in the details. <laughs> Very good. And uh, maybe doing something erotically by putting a special little pair of panties in his briefcase or something like oh, that yeah, might well, be. There are a lot of tricks to do here. Yeah. Uh -huh. You have a need to share with our audience? Mm, yeah. Well, it depends on what type of a relationship you're in. Mm -hmm. Let's say um, if some men really are more into the nudity, so putting the panties in the briefcase wouldn't work. Um, he could maybe sneak in, uh, sneak a naked picture on his cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> it could yes. be embarrassing too, though. In the middle um, of a meeting. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, be creative. You know your partner best. And and, and uh, Joy mentioned, uh, if you're talking about heterosexuals, uh, we want to also include, of course, the same-sex couples. Yes. And uh, whatever variations people are into, um, you know your partner best. Be creative. Find out what what the other likes. And also, the communication needs to go both ways, uh, not just women knowing what they want and trying to pursue that, but also f what is, there's the I and there's the you and there's the us. So there's so much to explore. Um, 
it is so different for everybody that I, I you know, if, if you have a, a boyfriend who enjoys lingerie, oh yeah, sneak a nice pair of panties that you have worn for a little while. So it <laughs> smells like you, you know, that uh, even unconsciously it doesn't have to have a strong smell, <laughs> just a little bit. Uh -huh. It's, it's um, uh, uh, sending an erotic text message in the middle of the day. Oh, that's there fine. So like many that. things to do that reminds the other that there's someone waiting for you and someone you're connected with. And work is so stressful these days. Everybody works so hard. It's uh, sometimes not enough time to become erotically creative. Mm -hmm. You have to take the time, even if it's just once a week or every other week, you have to take some time away. Otherwise, it goes down the drain more or less. Even you may love each other, you may still stay together, but something suffers. Ah. So develop the passion mm -hmm. and keep the fire stoked. So uh, in our last few moments here, Joy, if you can tell us how to reach you and exactly what it is that you do and offer. Yeah. My company is called The Joy of Romance, mm -hmm. and I help individuals create passionate and thriving relationships in their lives, no matter where they are in the um, relationship continuum. They've just started dating, um, they're thinking about proposing, or they've been together for 20 plus years. Mm -hmm. And you can reach me at joy at joyofromance.com. Mm -hmm. And your website is up under your name, joyofromance.com. Yeah. And you can also view the two-minute vodcasts. Yes. Yeah. It's called Intelligent Love, 411 for Men. You can go to iTunes. That's the best resolution. Just subscribe to it, download it, and mm -hmm. enjoy. And if you have any suggestions for a future broadcast, please email me. Excellent. Yeah. Very good. And Dr. Hoff, how may we get a hold of you? Uh, my website, website is uh, lifestyleeducation.net. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of videos on there, video podcasts that uh, show on YouTube, but it, it's all listed on my website. Mm -hmm. Um, I have a, f a few movies available also of different couples in relationships where erotic power play is a big important part of their relationship or marriage. Mm -hmm. So those movies are available also, but the video podcasts are all free and on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I do the coaching, I do the video making, the movie making, research, and I teach workshops for psychologists who need to learn more about this topic so they can do a better job with their clients who are involved in erotic power play. Wonderful. We have so many choices nowadays. I just wanted to uh, say in closing here that my two guests have spectacular outfits, so I want them to come up and have a seat on the edge of the desk just to be able to show you a little bit about what they're wearing. I feel like the angel and devil are on my shoulders here. <laughs> Look at these outfits. They're great. Go ahead, ladies. I got this for you. Thank you. Okay, why don't you sit on the edge of the table and we'll say thank you very much for joining us on Crosstalk SF. <laughs> I'm your host, Christina Marie. We have Joy Nordenstrom and Dr. Gabrielle Hoff. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you and have good relationships, good love, and have fun. Yes. Yeah.